From day one, intermittent fasting has always been a major part of my weight loss journey. Whether it be the most extreme version of intermittent fasting, known as one meal a day, fasting for 23, 24 hours in the day and eating within an hour eating window, or if it's the 16-8 method. Either or, I've always found success on my weight loss journey with intermittent fasting. Time-restricted eating, also known as intermittent fasting, is a tool that helps you lose weight. And the reason being, I feel like the number one reason being for this is it forces you to reduce your caloric intake because you are crunching the amount of time that you're eating into a smaller eating window. The reason why weight gain happens and people gain weight is because they're eating too frequently. It's the frequent eating that causes our body to retain weight because when we eat frequently, we tell our body to produce insulin and insulin is the hormone that is responsible for storing fat. Also, frequent eating leads to insulin resistance because we're constantly exposed to insulin by frequently eating. You have to remember that the human body was developed in a series of fasting, meaning that the human body was designed to handle long periods without food. The human body has not yet adapted to being adjusted to this new way of eating constantly. That's why we're seeing all of these metabolic illnesses like type 2 diabetes. We're also seeing people with skin disease, Crohn's disease, and what have you. Because when we frequently eat, we spike our glucose levels. And weight loss happens when we are in a low blood sugar state, because that is when we can put our body into a state where it's going to burn fat. Lipolysis is the process of burning fat, and lipolysis can only be activated when the blood sugar is low. So there's multiple ways to do this, but I feel like intermittent fasting is the most powerful way to lower our blood sugar. You can lower your blood sugar through eating the right foods, like eating high fiber food, which is key, eating foods that are high in fat and protein will also help to lower our blood sugar. It's basically refined carbohydrates that's causing all of this chaos. And refined carbohydrates cause us to constantly want to eat. They bring up our appetite. They make us want to eat more and more and more. So going back to intermittent fasting, there's so many benefits to it. I like OMAD. That is my happy spot. Now, what is intermittent fasting in general. Now, you can think of it in two ways. Some people see intermittent fasting as um, maybe fasting less than 24 hours. Other people, basically, you can consider the longer forms of fasting a form of intermittent fasting, like alternate day fasting or rolling fast. You can call that intermittent fasting because you're technically fasting, but I like to put that in the extended fasting category. So like what I like to think of intermittent fasting is anywhere fasting between, I would say for weight loss, let's just put the weight loss number here, fasting anywhere between 16 and 24 hours in a day. The longer you fast, the more benefits you have. Now, I like the longer fast because it puts me in a longer state of fat burning. It puts me in a longer state of ketosis. The state of ketosis is required when you are in a low blood sugar state. And not only that, the benefits of intermittent fasting also include the reversal we get from the damage that we get from eating excess food. Anyone who's obese or struggled with morbid obesity or binge eating, they know that it's hard to contain their appetite. And I find that when you time-restricted eat, it helps you not eat out of control, which is key. And I like doing OMAD because it's like the happy medium. Now, at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I did start with the 16-8 method and I saw improvements. You don't have to jump right into OMAD. Remember, we want to crawl before we walk and we want to walk before we run. Slow is steady. For anyone who's beginning their journey, you can start off with 16-8 and incrementally work your way up. Another benefit to intermittent fasting is that it produces a state of autophagy, which is a state of cellular healing. Now in this environment, everything's out of whack because of the foods we are eating, because of the stress levels. So autophagy is our body's way of basically 
regenerating or recycling old damaged cellular components. So it cleans up the house of the cell. Remember, the cell is responsible for weight loss. The cell is responsible for energy metabolism and whatnot. So when the cell cleans itself up, up, it becomes stronger and more efficient at being a cell, therefore allowing your cells to do what you want it to do, whether it be weight loss, just feeling healthy overall. Autophagy is also beneficial when it comes to reducing your risk of cancer, and it definitely helps to boost your energy levels by helping to repair the mitochondria, which is the site of everything. The mitochondria is where we produce energy within the cell. And when our mitochondria is damaged and we have issues with that, it can cause us like things like chronic fatigue and um, inflammation in the skin. It can cause issues with sleep. All of these are signs of mitochondria damage. So autophagy helps to repair that. But when it comes to intermittent fasting, I just think of like my early weight loss journeys. And when I say my early weight loss journeys, when I was like in, you know, university, I remember when I lost my first like 40 pounds, this is when I was like really light and I put on like the freshman 15 or the freshman 40. And I remember, this is when I was really young, I would basically sleep all day, wake up around one o'clock. I wouldn't, I would have like one little snack and then I would go to the gym and have the rest of my calories later on in the day. So I think that was definitely a form of intermittent fasting. It was probably more 16, eight or maybe 18, six. But I think it is so important on any weight loss journey to include some form of intermittent fasting. There are different levels, as I explained. There's a 16, eight, you can fast for 17 hours. 18 hour fast is a pretty good fast. And when you go into OMAD ter territory, which is 20 hours of fasting or more. So if you are struggling on your weight loss journey, I highly recommend trying time-restricted eating, intermittent fasting. You, you get all the benefits of being in fat burning longer. You get all the benefits of being in ketosis when you're fasting, and it helps to control your appetite, which is so keen on our weight loss journey. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just type in the word key, and I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.